somewhere. Yeah, it, 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 it might be somewhere down uh, in this area. Those tires back look behind good. the rear tires. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, a little bit of smoke there. I'm not sure if that's coming from the rubber on the other side. So here we're going under the lower crossover, and now we'll be back on the west side of the southbound five. So that tells us we are getting into Castaic, mm -hmm. and we're definitely going to start to see. Well, I was going to say we're going to start to see some more traffic, but I guess we're really not because CHP is holding all of these ramps. Um, and uh, again, very unfortunate for people uh, as we're on Thursday, yeah. a very busy traffic day of the week. And even though it's the southbound side, it's still uh, going to be frustrating for a lot of folks if this person decides to uh, continue going. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we'll get to the point as well where even if CHP is holding on and off ramps mm -hmm. where if once we get past the new hall pass this you know person could could still end up uh, bumping uh -huh. into some traffic and uh, we'll see what how how that dynamic plays out desmond we're showing our viewers once again those three spike strips that the chp laid out and the one closest to the center divider was the one that this driver went over and i don't think it was more than five minutes after that we saw that uh, passenger side front tire uh, fall right off the rim, which was pretty amazing because we think these tires are, are pretty big. Um, they could possibly handle quite a bit of damage. I mean, we've seen these blowouts just as pa just as drivers driving on the freeway. We see those tires on the side of the road. But look at that, Desmond, still smoking. That tire still attached uh, to the cab of that uh, to the cab of, of this car. Yeah, and you know. Now that I think about it, I mean, oh, oh, oh there it goes. Ah, oh, oh. oh, finally dislodged. Okay. Uh, so that's that's a relief, and uh, CHP will be able to stop and, and pick that tire up uh, very quickly, so that none of those super frustrated drivers behind them get uh, get caught up yeah. with that hazard. But uh, so now, it's just a, uh, you know, again, uh, just just because we're down to to metal on one of these tires. Uh, they might have to get, get the rubber off yeah. of the other tires if, if there's really any hope of stopping this before yeah. this driver, uh, you know, forcing a stop to this, yeah. uh, I should say. Once once they can get the rubber off of the other tire, uh, those are, you know, the, the those are the wheels that are driving mm -hmm. the power of this thing. And uh, we'll see. Actually, you know what? Someone may need to check me on that. <laughs> I'm not uh, <laughs> honestly super familiar with the drivetrains of big rigs, uh, but... Uh, it, it, it w I would think that if we could lose the other front tire, that that would uh, hopefully bring this to an end. 